metropoles, gigantic cities, the intersections in our globalized existence. In just a few years' time, half the world's more than 7 billion inhabitants will live in these enormous labyrinthine networks. People have traditionally constructed their cities in delta regions, where the most fertile soil is to be found and with the most varied biodiversity. For where better to live than in a green environment bursting with natural bounty? Today, however, this situation is under increasing pressure. Rapid urbanization has increased competition for space and resources. Cities are becoming less green, air pollution is on the increase, the mountains of waste are growing and people increasingly face power failures due to the high demand for electricity and other forms of energy. At the same time, we are losing the globe's most fertile soil and the biggest loser is agriculture. Pressure is building on the available space. Working, living, leisure, transport, all of them have to share the same small surface area. An enormous problem as we need these very same fertile regions to nourish the huge urban conglomerations and the rest of the world. Food production must meet a massive and ever-growing demand and we need to do that in a sustainable way. Agriculture stands at the crossroads, going on on the old way or working towards a sustainable future. This faces us all with a huge challenge. How can we meet modern society's demand for food in a responsible manner? The answer is a new visionary approach, metropolitan agriculture. An approach that solves the food issue and at the same time satisfies the requirement of the metropolitan consumer. A consumer who chooses sustainability, health and the experience of nature and who has a conscious approach to energy consumption and waste. And a consumer who wants safe, responsible and varied food. What is metropolitan agriculture? In a nutshell, innovative agricultural activities that take place in a metropolitan environment, explicitly satisfy the varied consumer demands in the regions concerned and make ingenious use of the characteristics of the urban landscape. The presence of logistic hubs, the strong networks, the organizational capacity, the presence of knowledge, but also the purchasing power of cities where the dietary demands of trend-setting consumers dictate the trends. All this power is bundled into the system with the accumulated agro-knowledge creating an intense synergy. Transforming the system of agro-production from an obstacle into one of the motors of the urban environment. No one can achieve this in isolation. Companies and other stakeholders such as knowledge institutes, social organizations and governments jointly create value by linking people, profit and planet. This calls for a radical revolution in a situation where established institutions are still displaying resistance. New connective leadership and passionate coalitions are essential. This can be achieved if people collaborate. Collaborate to bring about the required innovation of agro-production. The business community, knowledge institutes, social organizations and governments will have to join forces. It also offers interesting perspectives for all actors. It can be used by entrepreneurs in the agricultural sector in order to strengthen their license to sell, operate and produce. By developing business models that are founded on triple P values – people, planet and profit. The authorities are given room for the stronger integration of agriculture and green. Social organizations can contribute their values to the system in a meaningful way. And finally, knowledge institutes can make a worthwhile contribution to the research needed on innovative and sustainable agricultural production. The Netherlands is one of the many countries in the world with a rich knowledge of agriculture and practical expertise. Knowledge and practical expertise which we can share with the rest of the world. 
In the Netherlands too, the realization has also dawned that the urban and rural worlds cannot be seen separately. It is becoming clear that agriculture is actually already taking place in the cities and that new alliances offer fascinating challenges, creating intersector links, for example, between the chemical industry and agriculture, or between the healthcare sector and farming. In this way, the available spaces utilize for multiple purposes. In the form of green care, the traditional farm will be combined with all kinds of care, for example, for addicts and the handicapped, or the operational management systems of poultry farmers and pig farmers will be linked with the purpose of a more efficient use of resources. And so more companies, organizations and consumers can see their wishes being met. Metropolitan agriculture integrates several worlds to create a single new one. Using the knowledge already present in the Netherlands in the areas of biotechnology, logistics and communication makes new forms of knowledge transfer and production possible. And so, just like in many other parts of the world, a lot of attention will be devoted to sustainable development, through which we will ensure profitable companies and a healthy environment. By practicing metropolitan agriculture, urban conglomerations all over the world can be effectively nourished. The world possesses all the components essential to make metropolitan agriculture a solid and practical system. Prosperity, masses of knowledge, productive soil and entrepreneurial spirit. So, what are we waiting for? Join us in making this vision come true.